Move me to the grave instead, please. Hello, 안녕하세요. I'm Shandra Age. Welcome to Cinema Media, where we only talk about South Korean movies and dramas. I came across the title of today's movie not knowing anything about it, but it sounded so cool I thought I'd give it a watch. So let's talk about the 2020 drama Move the Grave or Lee Jang. The movie stars Chang Ni Yu, Lee San Yee, Yung Gum San Ah, Kong Min Jung, Kwang Ming Yu, and others. Chang Ni Yu plays a single mother who has a pretty problematic child. When her father's grave is about to be moved, she goes from Seoul to the countryside with her four sisters and her son. They also have a younger brother, but he doesn't pick up the phone. But since he is deemed crucially moving the grave, the sisters go back to Seoul to try and find him. Meanwhile, they find out some things about each other that they didn't know yet. I like dramas. I really do. I think the concept of this movie is pretty good. We have a pretty dysfunctional family. I mean, the four sisters really don't get along that great. I like the fact that almost all of them have something to hide. The countryside looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm really sad to say that I can't think of a single positive thing to say about this movie. Move the Grave is painfully uneventful and boring, filled with lazily written characters. There is basically no chemistry between the sisters, I never once bought into them being an actual family. Which is a huge problem because they spend a lot of time together in a car, chatting and arguing, and it gets old really quick because nothing that they say is interesting or convincing. At all. And like I said, almost everyone has something to hide from the others. The problem is that the things that they hide are really nothing special. For example, the main character just doesn't want to let them know that she got fired. Stuff like that, you know? There's just no way to any of it. None of these things impact them in any way. So what's the point? There are a few attempts at humor in the film and each and every joke falls flat. No exceptions. The movie doesn't have any emotional highs and lows, which would be crucial for a drama to work. The conflicts that are presented here mean absolutely nothing. They're just all fleeting moments and then everything falls back into an endless field of grey. Another huge problem is that there is just no character development to be found here. By the end of the movie, nothing is changed, nothing is lost, nothing is earned, the characters learn nothing, gain nothing. So when the credits started to roll, I just sat and wondered, what was the point of all this? Honestly, I have no answer to that. I think this is gonna be a really short review. I really don't like bashing movies, but this movie truly felt like an hour and a half of my life that I'm never gonna get back. And when I say that the movie is boring, I don't mean that it's a pacing issue, like the movie is too slow or something, because it's not. It's just that the things that are happening in this movie lack any kind of consequence, hence it becomes boring really quick. And it stays that way. I like good dramas, I really do. If the characters were written better and the chemistry was there, this could have been a pretty neat movie. But unfortunately, neither the characters nor the dialogues did anything for me. Move the Grave is a complete waste of time and I'm gonna give this one 48%. If you wanna watch a good Korean drama, go watch A Taxi Driver or Breathless or Masquerade or Welcome to Dogmako or anything else really. This is painful. See you all very soon. 다음 시간에 만나요, 여러분. Bye.